let's get ready to wake up and flow. So let's get started in a child's pose. You can do a wide-legged child's pose with your knees out towards the edge of your mat and just sinking back into that. And let's just take a couple of deep breaths into our lower lungs. Just breathing in for the count of five, holding, and then exhale. And then we'll get started into a cat-cow pose. So we'll just breathe in, looking up, arching the spine, and then rounding back, exhale. Inhale, looking up, arching the spine, and exhale, rounding the back. One more time, inhale, looking up, and then exhale. And then let's just reach one leg back and the opposite arm to the front. You're in a straight line, making sure your abdominal muscles are contracted and tight, not sagging in the middle. And then we'll just switch to the other side so the opposite leg comes straight back. And then the opposite arm comes straight out in front of you in one long straight line. Great. And then we're gonna slowly come back into your first down dog, bending the knees as we warm up our hamstrings and our calves. You can pedal your legs if you need to. And then coming forward into your plank and then exhale back into down dog, inhale, coming forward into plank, and then back into down dog. So just repeat that a few times at your own pace, moving the spine like the ocean. Exhale back into down dog, really warming up the back, lower part of the body, pushing your palms back. All right, so let's come to the top of the mat. And then we'll roll up slowly, inhale, exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna do a warm up here just to get the blood flowing. So inhale up, exhale, reaching down to the mat, you can keep a slight bend in your knees if you need to, inhale halfway, exhale stepping back into chaturanga, and then upward facing dog, and then down dog, exhale. And if you need to go into knees, chest, chin and do a full chaturanga, that's perfectly fine. So let's come back up to the top of the mat again. Inhale, coming up, and exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reaching up, exhale, forward fold. And then jumping back into a plank if you're comfortable. Down into chaturanga, and then up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Great, let's pedal the legs some more here, really warming up that lower body. Then we'll step to the top, or jump to the top of the mat. And then slowly rolling up, inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, straight back, and then exhale, Jumping back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Then we'll do three-legged dog, left leg comes up. We'll do that lunge pose. Then coming back down, leg comes back and we'll do a chaturanga, upward facing dog. And then we'll do the other leg. So the right leg will come up into three-legged dog, forward through to the hands, and lifting up into that lunge. 
hands come back down, back into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Great. So we're gonna do that sequence one more time. So left leg comes up, the three-legged dog comes forward, and then we're actually gonna come into our warrior two pose. So bending that left knee, looking out at that left arm. And then we'll do our side angle pose. Making sure they're lifting up out of that shoulder and that elbow, we're not sinking into it. Really feeling a nice stretch in our right side. And we'll come back up into a triangle pose. If you need to use a block here on the floor, please feel free to pause the video and get that. And then just trying to look up at that right hand. Great. So then we'll just pivot here, making sure our hips are in line, and then we'll come into a runner's lunge so that right knee is going to be planted on the ground and we're going to look forward and then exhale we're going to straighten that left leg and bring our chest closer and then inhale looking forward and then exhale straighten that leg and we're really trying to get deep into the hip flexor getting a nice stretch there in that lunge and then a release in the back of that leg again. Great. And just take some nice deep breaths here. You can flex that heel if you like, just to get more into that hamstring and the uh, calf as well. And coming forward one more time, we'll lift that knee off the ground and then we'll twist into that twisted lunge. You can keep your knee on the ground if you need that modification. And we're just looking up at the sky, just stimulating our digestive system here, getting things moving and getting the blood flowing. And then we'll just bring that leg back into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog and your downward facing dog. Great. And then we'll just come to the top of the mat here and then roll up, inhale, exhale. And then we'll inhale again, reaching the left arm down to the side of the body, getting a nice side stretch on that right side making sure we're really breathing into that. All right, and then we'll just switch sides. So inhale, reaching down that leg, reaching over that left arm. Great. And then we'll inhale, then exhale down. Inhale halfway, and then exhale stepping back into a chaturanga upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Great, and lift that right leg up to the top of the hands and then we'll just come into our warrior one pose. Lifting the leg back down into chaturanga, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. And then that left leg will come up through Great. Stepping back again. Inhale, just doing a nice flow here to get the blood moving. Your chaturanga. And then coming into that right side of the body. So we're going to repeat everything we did on the left side. Coming into warrior two. That right knee is planted. In a 90 degree angle, knee is over the ankle. We want to make sure to lift up out of that shoulder that's on the uh, right knee there. And lifting 
to the side there, getting a nice stretch on that left side of the body. This is really great stretch for those of us that sit all day. And then we'll also do another triangle pose here. Really great just to open up that side of the body so as just looking up to that left hand, taking some nice deep breaths here. Great. And coming back up. And then we'll pivot so that our hips are faced to the front of the mat. And then we'll do a runner's lunge so that left knee will be on the mat and we'll just press forward and then straighten that right leg. Press forward, inhale, and then straighten that right leg. Getting a nice stretch in your back of your legs there. Inhale, looking forward, feeling that stretch in your hips, and then coming back into intense stretch forward. Just taking a nice few deep breaths here, bringing your body instead of your head towards the leg. And then you can flex that foot if you'd like to get a little bit deeper stretch there. Great. couple more breaths here and then coming back forward we're gonna twist you can lift that knee off the mat into our revolved lunge the left hand is planted on the ground and we're looking up towards the sky at that right hand just stimulating our organs here and hand comes back down and then we'll do a little flow so we'll inhale exhale chaturanga upward facing dog inhale and then exhale downward facing dog great and we'll just push back and then we'll hop forward into a nice malasana and here we're just gonna be working on opening up the hips. So the elbows can come on either side of the knees here. If you need to sit on a block, go ahead and do that. This is really great if you suffer from constipation or any bloating, just really helps to relieve any of those symptoms. And also stimulating for our digestive system. So just trying to breathe into that. And then when you're ready, you can sit on the mat. And then we'll come into a little boat pose and just activate the core, holding, but make sure we're breathing. And then you can release that. And then just sitting down, laying down on the back on your mat and then we'll come into a child's pose here so the goal here is to try to reach your knees to the mat you can hold your big toes or the outsides of your feet you can sway back and forth whatever feels good for you great just taking another breath here reaching the leg straight up and then with control lowering the legs and then we'll do a bridge so bring those feet hip width apart lifting the glutes really activating the glutes here lifting up you can grasp your hands if you want and just take a couple of deep breaths here Great, really lifting up, 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 and then coming down one vertebrae at a time. Just bring your knees in your chest. Straighten the right leg, and we'll bring that left leg over for spinal twist. Making sure your left 
Shoulder is still on the mat, and we're just looking over that left side. Just waking up the body here, waking up our digestive system. Right, and then we'll just switch sides so the other knee comes into the chest. And then it's coming across the body. That right shoulder stays on the mat. And we're just looking over to our right side here. And just take a couple of calming breaths here as we wind down. And then we'll go into the most important pose of our practice, corpse pose. And this is where we let our body settle. This is where we enjoy the work that we did the last 10 minutes. We feel how our body feels different from when we first started. So it's like we were baking something and now we kind of let it settle in the body. So just fully surrender your body to your mat and take some nice deep breaths. Relaxing your face and your jaw, your arms. your legs, and whenever you're ready, you can roll to your favorite side and join me in a seated position. And then we'll just inhale, exhale, hands to heart, inhale one more time, exhale, Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for that quick morning yoga.